Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I hope that it will be a good start because we are starting it. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Please, sir. I invite the members of our team, please. Doctor S N R, C D P Mathematics, Kendri Vidyasthavi, Jain Campus, New Delhi. Let's have some discussion on topic circle of class nine. Circle is a locus of point under certain fixed geometrical conditions. Hence, we take this is a fixed point. And this is a fixed distance. And if you move this distance, fixed distance, then the locus of this point P and this fixed point O, the locus of this point, fixed point P, form. This is called circle. It means circle is a part of this point P, which is. At a fixed distance from a fixed point, and this fixed point O is called center of circle, and this distance O P is called. Radius of circle. Now, this OP we can write it as R. And if we join this O, just opposite to this P, that is the P dash, then this PP dash is called diameter of circle. So, PP dash equal to 2 OP. This implies diameter is equal to 2 into radius. Well, let me explain that the course where which we uh, started with that. We started with that getting started. In that getting started, we have put the text first taken from the definition of a circle and the circle parts we have tried to explain it in different colors and we have put one video explaining all the properties of circles. I am going for that first one. Uh, here we are having this uh, a text uh, explaining about the circle and then there is a figure it is given that all the parts of the circle are explained in color and that color is also uh, mentioned at the bottom that is circumference C is in black color, diameter is in uh, cyan color, radius is in red color and center of origin is in maganda color. And uh, some examples we have uh, taken here, so that uh, the child can understand better, you must have a bullock cart wheel, it looks like a circle. Then in the same uh, unit, we have added one video also. Uh, this is a video explaining about the different parts of the circle in a, a logical way. So we take a look at this orange line here, assuming that it's a line extending in both directions forever. It intersects the circle in two points, and therefore this would be a secant line. Now there's two more things I want to define. The next is a tangent line. A tangent line is a line that intersects the circle in one point. Remember, a secant line intersects the circle in two points, but a tangent line intersects the circle in one point. So looking at this brown line here, <coughs> notice how it only intersects the circle at this point here. Therefore, this brown line is a tangent line. And the point of tangency is where the tangent line touches or intersects the circle. So this black point right here is the point of tangency. Now let's talk about when we have two circles graphed on the same point. Circles that have the same radius but different centers. So looking at these two circles. Yes, sir. Uh, I am going for this uh, homework which we have uh, uh, selected. We have selected some multiple choice question in which 
we are having this uh, line segment joining the center of the circle by uh, drawn, drop arrow they have to write the answer and region bounded by 2 radii it is in multiple choice and the, again the second question is also in multiple choice. Then let us go to that interactive session which we have planned in that interactive section uh, we thought that uh, the tool GeoGebra we have taken where in the GeoGebra I made one file and uh, exported it in the web and I got it web address then I pasted it here that URL has been pasted here but I tried my level best to paste it directly but uh, I do not know the uh, technology behind it actually they came and helped me a lot but here uh, GeoGebra I have given a click here dear students hope that you have learned the basics of circles is a very very small exercise I have put here try to explore understanding by the following activity when they click this uh, uh, this one directly it will go to the GeoGebra tube when a child is clicking it a GeoGebra will start immediately and here the instruction is given uh, drag that particular point to check out whether the radius is always equal at any point where a child has to simply he can do by himself by simply moving it here and there and you can get an idea of the diameter also everywhere it goes like that this is using a GeoGebra directly we have had it and uh, we will go to the next session of it again in the labs and demos that is the next session we have uh, selected it in the lab and demos we had two things here one is a video explaining uh, what is the meaning of a area of a circle and I will show just to show you a, a part of it how a, a, a circle is taken and actually it is an activity which can be used in the max lab where it is divided into some sectors and all the sectors are arranged in such a way that it will become a rectangle the length into breadth formula that pi r square will come here it is being uh, explained in a diagrammatic way that is being circle is taken again and again when they fold it they will get so many sectors and they have to cut all the sectors and arrange it in way that it will become a rectangle the length into breadth formula that pi r square okay then i am going to the next gibra i have put here uh, this is another geogebra one where uh, we have explained them that angle in the same segment are equal here this is a geogebra file with uh, a interactive way that a child can see the value changing here also By the same time when he is dragging there you can see visually also here also then he can uh, drag it so that the values will change now you can see that the angle APB and AQB at any place and he can drag this also suppose this at Q it is fixed and he can push this P also and check out that it is not changing so now this is another activity like that all the uh, properties in the circles we can have it in the GeoGebra so that after the particular child has learned it he can have a hands on experience on that this is the way I told you that GeoGebra dynamic uh, that software I downloaded then I made this particular uh, file in that I converted it into a GBG file then it I uploaded it in the tube of uh, GeoGebra GeoGebra tube I uploaded it I do not know what is the other way of doing it for I uploaded it there then I gave you a link in that particular our uh, content so that when you click it automatically when you, you can click the text also that GeoGebra file automatically opens. Uh, I think I hope that uh, we have uh, made ourselves comfortable in doing it. I thank all the team members, those who just came running whenever we call them. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, let me introduce myself. Myself is Jinder Kumar from Masai Jammu. Uh, what, we, what I understood from this whole of the exercise was uh, how to apply ourselves in production of the contents on the online sources. But uh, as far the content here we have interest may not be the exactly what we wanted to be actually produce on, on the line and maybe uh, the exactness of that program may be not that there. But we have tried to do something on that course. Now what we did first of all we divided the whole of the chemistry syllabus into chapters and the time has been allotted to that. 
so uh, what we took we took the second week because it was the second chapter and we had just given some time to the first chapter and we have come to the second week of the second part of the solution met up that is of introduction to the world of solutions this was the first chapter so we avoided this because we were taking this chapter of solution and we straight away went to the this chapter is matter pure round of self then what we do it we, we introduced ourselves yeah we have put on two videos regarding the chapter first regarding the true solution what are the solution what are the components of solution and another is the types of solution on the basis of the size of the particle and at the end of these two videos uh, we have just asked some question regarding these two uh, videos and from the question and after that we have given the assignment uh, to the children to do at home that what is around them if they come around their different types of solution classify them as uh, what type of different types of solution on the basis of that size of particle whether they are suspension they are colloidal or they are, they are the true solution so i will give you first example of this my video solubility and concentrations so now that we've talked about what a solution is um, we can look at how we classify them how we measure how strong a solution is uh, solubility is the maximum amount of solute that can dissolve in a given solvent at a fixed temperature Typically, the temperature will be fixed at 20 degrees Celsius. Um, we'll write this as the number of grams of solute per 100 grams of solvent. So if you look it up, somebody will say the solubility of sodium chloride is 32 grams. Uh, what they mean is there are 32 grams of sodium chloride that will fit in 100 grams of a solvent, such as water. There are three different saturation levels that a solute solvent can have. The first one is saturated, meaning that it can no longer hold any more solute. Some solute will typically be on the bottom of the beaker. Uh, that's how you know that it's saturated. No more can go in. In second video, we have given another clarification regarding the solutions, the different types of solution. Let's on the look at types of solutions. So first, let's review. For a solution, you have the solvent. Carrying on from the first material, video, that is solvent and solution. This is usually a liquid or gas in matrix, and water is the universal solvent. The solute is the material being Gaseous solutions are composed of some type of material, solid or liquid or gas, dissolved into a gas. And then Again, this is basis of their solubility. There are physical states and other states of play. Always joining together, one in the smaller part, one in the larger part. So let's look at some examples of these types of solutions. So if we have a gas solute and a gas solvent in the solution, that example would be air, where oxygen is dissolved in nitrogen. We have a gas solute and a liquid solvent in the carbonate. After that, we have put on a quiz for this. So, some questions has been asked in multiple choice. Then in the fill in the blanks type. And a common lost problem was given at the home assignment to go further understanding so that child can distinguish between different types of solution is encountering during the day to day life. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with uh, putting the foreign videos here, like uh, English accent. In the, uh, I wanted to be in the Indian yeah, accent. Yeah. If we can put our own videos. You have to put your own videos. Yeah, that will be the nice idea to put. <laughs> सेल That is from the class ninth, and the cell is spread right from the class ninth and in class eleventh. But we have taken from the class ninth, and when we go through the syllabus, and it uh, uh, was covered in twelve periods. But uh, we just uh, focus more on the platform rather than the syllabus and its texture and all that. We just try that uh, we should uh, try our hand on all the activities and all the facilities that was provided by the platform. So this is our profile page, and my course team members are right there. with their photographs and designations uh, please go through 
So then we have also recorded an introductory video. Let's go to the video. Yeah, this is a short video regarding the. This was specifically uh, recorded for the. Welcome this to this online course. Myself, Dr. Yashwar Sharma, Assistant Professor in Central Institute of Education Technology, NCRT, Delhi. This course is specially designed for the secondary classes, particularly for class nine. <coughs> And in this course, we will study about the structural unit of life, that is the cell. This is a four week long course. We have divided this course into four weeks. And during all the weeks, we have certain type of assignments for future. All these questions are in multiple choice questions. And a one mark to every right question will be allowed. And in fact, we have a separate assignment for the final test. All the marks we will secure in all the assignments will also be included in the final results. My other team members are Dr. Amit R. Malik from Patan, Dhanraj from R.I. Nathu, Gopal Chopade from KBS Pura. I wish you all of you the best that you please join the course and do the accordingly as for the schedule. So we have a, a, a big uh, course uh, schedule is right there, divided into different weeks. Uh, we have divided the course into four weeks uh, because we were the four members actually. So I wanted that everyone had a chance to work on every section, to make a quiz and all that. So equally we have divided the course into four weeks. <laughs> and in fact we have designed the tabs as for the textbooks are there and resources. resources we have repository ka and ek shiksha ka and all that. If uh, someone needs the extra resources. And we have the community special. One can uh, join with the, uh, with the Hangouts, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that. So this is the uh, introductory video. So we have a video recording the cell. What is the cell? It's an introduction for the cell, basically. So this is the regarding the introduction. We have a diagram. And then uh, click on the next. So next, we have a clue that you have done this and what will be the next? So this is the second uh, subsection, two. So we have managed the different subsections in this way. So we have tried the quiz that the quiz will be provided in different formats. In multiple type, in cross sections and in drag and drop and all that. And we have used that. And instead of that, in fact we have also tried for the peer revaluation. And in fact we have done the peer revaluation. I don't know the result. We will check the ma'am later and tell us what happened. So we have tried also that. Actually if we go through the textbook for the class 9, specifically for the cell. Instead of structure, there is more emphasis on the structure rather than the function of the cells. So we just tried the functionality of the cell also in our course. This is one activity for students which we designed. Uh, our students in this format cannot upload a file. So we ask them to create their own creation, get, get a picture on it, of it and post it on their either a Facebook page or somewhere else. And discuss it over here that how you prepare this and anything else. So one another video is also attached here so that they can go through the YouTube and know how they can paste it. Yeah. So these are the external resources. If uh, any students want to some, some extra rather than what we have provided in our course, so he can go through the resources. Then comes to the community. This is for the live section. Uh, the live session is our hangout and uh, Twitter pe and Facebook. Ke pe diya hai. Directly you can go there. So this is all about our courses. What problem we face here is when we are uh, creating these kind of uh, in interactivities. Suppose in peer review uh, assessment, uh, the predefined structure, everything was there. So we have to modify it accordingly. The same case is there with uh, drag and drop kind of activities. So that takes some kind of uh, technicalities from our side to modify the tags, to modify the codes and everything else. Suppose here is a peer review assessment and we ask three questions to the students and write down their answers here. And in this way, uh, we can design this kind of activity and uh, one person will assess other three persons. So in this way, the all activity is designed. One more drag and drop kind of thing which I would like to share with you. 
जैसे कि इमेज जो थी उसको रिप्लेस करके उसके कोऑर्डिनेट्स वगैरह कुछ मालूम करके हमें रखना पड़ा इसमें आपकी टीम ने बहुत हेल्प की कि इसको कैसे मॉडिफाई कर सकते हैं तो इस तरह से ये कुछ कर पाए हैं चेकिंग चेकिंग वेट वेट नहीं एक गलत करते हैं तो ये हो चुका है इस तरह से कुछ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन रख पाए हैं इसमें और डिस्कशन में भी कुछ आप लोगों ने बहुत अच्छे से हमें सपोर्ट दिया खास दो तीन चीज़ें हम लोगों ने ऐसी डिस्कस की इस बारे में कि इस चीज़ को कैसे और इम्प्रूव किया जाए सपोज दिक्कत क्या आ रही थी कि जब हर एक चीज़ को पब्लिक करना था तो एक एक यूनिट को जाके हमें देख के सही चीज़ है वो लेकिन अगर पहले से ही हम सब ने प्राइवेट में वो सब बना लिया और फिर विद अ क्लिक ऑफ सिंगल क्लिक वी कैन पब्लिक मेक एंटायर कोर्स अवेलेबल टू द पब्लिक वो अच्छा रहता है इसका ये सजेशन ये भी है एक दूसरी चीज़ हमने ये लोग भी देखी कि भाई बहुत सारे चीज़ें ऐसी है जो रीजनल लैंग्वेज में इसका इंटरफेस आ जाए दो तीन लैंग्वेज इसमें तो ये भी एक अच्छी बात रहेगी और ये जो मॉडिफिकेशन वाला पार्ट है जो सब हर एक चीज़ में हमें करना पड़ता है उसके लिए कुछ वहीं पर हेल्प अवेलेबल की जाए ये जो स्ट्रक्चर है उसमें ही कि सपोज आपको ये इंटरेक्टिविटी ऐसी बनानी है तो इस टैग को बहुत सारे चीज़ों में दिया हुआ है लेकिन फिर भी अगर कोई वीडियोस वगैरह बना के इसकी लिंक इसके साथ अटैच कर दी जाए तो कोर्स क्रिएटर्स को भी उसमें कुछ आसानी रहेगी ऐसा सोचना है थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार मैं देवकर्ण सिंह प्राध्यापक भौतिक विज्ञान राजकीय उच्च माध्यमिक विद्यालय झुंझुनू राजस्थान आज हम लोग कार्य के बारे में जानना चाहते हैं साधारण तया घरों में या बच्चे खेलते समय कार्य के बारे में कुछ आम बोलचाल की भाषा में कुछ अलग अर्थ निकालते हैं भौतिक विज्ञान की भाषा में कुछ अलग अर्थ है उसी के संबंध में यहाँ हम जानना चाहते हैं तो इस संबंध में हमने कार्य को दो सब यूनिट में विभाजित किया है एक कार्य की अवधारणा दूसरा कार्य भौतिक विज्ञान के हिसाब से नियत बल द्वारा किया गया कार्य जब आप लोग खेलते हैं कूदते हैं लिखते हैं गाते हैं सुनते हैं या कोई भार उठाते हैं अन्य अन्य घर का कोई काम करते हैं तो उसमें सब लोग सभी चीज़ों को यही समझ लेते हैं कि हम कार्य कर रहे हैं कोई न कोई कार्य तो कर ही रहे हैं पर वहाँ पर कार्य का अर्थ दो दृष्टिकोणों में आता है उसमें कुछ एक्टिविटीज़ तो अपने शारीरिक क्रियाकलाप में आ जाती हैं जैसे पढ़ने वाला काम है वो अपने मानसिक क्रियाकलाप में आ जाता है तो इन सभी को आम बोलचाल की भाषा में अपन क्या कह देते हैं कार्य कह देते हैं पर भौतिक विज्ञान के हिसाब से कार्य की परिभाषा कुछ अलग है इसमें कार्य करने के लिए आपको बल लगाना पड़ता है और जब भी किसी वस्तु पर आप बल लगाते हैं तो वो वस्तु गति करती है इसका मतलब यह हुआ कि जब वस्तु पर बल लगता है और वस्तु गति करती है तभी कार्य किया जाता है जैसे घोड़ा किसी वजन को खींचता है गाड़ी से घोड़ा गाड़ी को खींचता है तो गाड़ी गति करती है गति करती है इसका मतलब घोड़े के द्वारा लगाए गए बल के द्वारा कार्य किया जाता है पर जब आप किसी दीवार को धक्का मारते हैं हालांकि आप बल लगाते हैं और लंबे समय तक दीवार को धक्का लगाते जाएंगे लगाते जाएंगे तो आप थक जाएंगे पर फिर भी आप भौतिक विज्ञान के हिसाब से कोई कार्य नहीं कर पाएंगे इसका मतलब कार्य दो बातों पे निर्भर करता है कौन कौन सी दो बातें हैं अभी आपने आम बोलचाल के भाषा में कार्य और भौतिक विज्ञान की भाषा में कार्य को दो अलग अलग अर्थों में डिफाइन किया है बहुत परेशान करते हैं 
दस बारह घंटे तक बैठे हैं तो क्या आप जानते हैं कितना कार्य कुछ किया आपने जब आप सामान को एक स्थान से दूसरे स्थान तक ले जाते हैं तो कितना कार्य तो कार्य का मात्र याद करने के लिए बल का और विस्थापन का मात्र लिख दो तो बल का मात्र एम के एस पद्धति में न्यूटन होता है और स्थापन का मीटर तो बल और मीटर के मात्रकों का गुणा करते हैं तो इसको न्यूटन इंटू मीटर अर्थात जूल कहा जाता है एफ और विस्थापन एस दोनों एक ही डायरेक्शन में हों तो किया गया कार्य डब्लू धनात्मक होगा माई सर डी सी भट्ट फ्रॉम केंद्रीय विद्यालय विज्ञान विहार राज दिल्ली हमने इसमें कार्य और वर्क दो अलग अलग पार्ट में काम किया है और जो ये वर्क वाला पार्ट है नीचे जो इंग्लिश मीडियम का है वो हमने आज सुबह ही स्टार्ट किया क्योंकि हमारे लिए एक प्रॉब्लम आई थी कि जब हम इंग्लिश में काम कर रहे थे तो हिंदी वाला हट जा रहा था और जब हिंदी वाला कर रहे थे तो इंग्लिस वाला हट जा रहा था फिर हमने आज इसको दूसरे सेक्शन में बना के इंग्लिस पार्ट में नेक्स्ट किया तो थोड़ा जल्दबाजी में किया गया काम है सर लेटेस्ट इंट्रोडक्शन इसमें इंट्रोडक्शन पे थोड़ा टेक्स्ट मटेरियल्स दिया गया है नेक्स्ट इसमें वीडियो दिया है दिस वीडियो इज इम्पोर्टेड एंड नेक्स्ट वीडियो ये मेरे द्वारा ही यूज़ किया गया इसमें तीन हमारे पार्ट थे टेक्स्ट मटेरियल वीडियो फ्रॉम आउटसोर्सेज एंड वीडियो फ्राम इन सोर्सेज ठीक है सर दिस इज इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो ओनली और फॉर ओनली फॉर टू और थ्री मिनट्स नेक्स्ट द यूनिट ऑफ वर्क हाँ एक क्वेश्चन आया था इसमें कि अगर हम इस वर्क को ये कहें कि वो स्थिर वस्तु पर ही होता है तो ये रॉन्ग कंसेप्ट है मिस कंसेप्ट है इफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन एंड इफ यू अप्लाई फोर्स ऑन दैट मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट then if there is a change in velocity then we also say work is done so we have avoid word using static see uh, edx platform is not language savvy and hence the first version of swayam platform will also not be it will hardly be language savvy but in our uh, final swayam platform is expected to be reasonably language savvy so uh, i think the still is being argued out whether the language option should be at the beginning itself for example when a student registers he says my default language is oriya my default language is gujarati something like that so that by default that will be the language but if in that language some content is not available then the system will tell is in your language it's not available it's available in these languages please select something else that is the implementation part but even in content generation i think slowly we will have to tackle issues like this take for example the geometry thing you know the the content which you see on the screen should be language independent as far as possible language independent in that case only the soundtrack and the transcript needs to be changed from one language to another so when you create say a chemistry uh, unit on this as far as possible create your screen in such a way that it is almost language independent okay but of course maybe in chemistry even in gujarati you write the formula as h2so4 right you don't write some sir for sulfur or g for gandak or something like that okay so but when it comes to maybe i don't know what will you do in mathematics algebra do you continue to use x y z even in gujarati okay but you know slowly we will also have to develop language independent symbolism for as many uh, items as possible in our school curriculum maybe ncert will also have to look at it because when you have a textbook it doesn't matter it's either in hindi or in gujarati or in english but when it is visual content it will be difficult too much of an effort to create the same visual content again in gujarati again in bengali again in tamil but if you keep the visual content as language independent as possible then it's easy only the soundtrack can then be made okay 
I think we have finished four. A and D, who raises his hand first? My team consists of three members. Mr. Rohit from Masur, RIE Masur, and Mr. Jamsedur Rahman from uh, CIET Delhi, and myself Rakesh from DIET Bhagalpur, Bihar. The topic uh, selected by team is uh, solution of linear equations. Although we have tried our best to um, do do our best effort. Mm. But you just see. The solution of linear equations and the thing associated to linear equations of two variables. When we draw two lines, there are three possibilities. Either lines are intersecting or lines are parallel or lines are coincident. When the lines are intersecting, we say that we have a common point satisfying the two equations and in this case we can say that the two lines have a unique solution or the two linear equations have a unique solution. When the lines are parallel, we don't have a common point or we do not get any x or y satisfying the two equations and so we can say that the two equations have no solution. When the two lines are coincident, in this case we have infinitely many points and so we can say that when the lines are coincident, the two... This is the introduction part. And we have tried our best to give the activity before the learners to draw lines. On the basis of the um, construction, uh, learners will find that uh, either lines are intersecting or parallel or coincident. And accordingly, we shall have solutions. So the course is divided into three weeks. The first week uh, for the introduction of linear equations. Lesson 1 is the linear equation of one variable and uh, two variables. Then lesson 2, graphical representation of linear equations. And then we have a homework um, as a multiple choice questions. So these are the multiple choice questions on the basis of the uh, ideas uh, given in the just content. Then week 2 is linear equations representing lines parallel to x and y axis and then we have homework and the uh, week three is the as we have discussed the solution of linear equations so the two uh, system of equations set to consistent if it has a, a solution either unique solution or infinitely many solution inconsistent if uh, if the system has no solution and accordingly, we have three activities for the solution of the linear equations. One solution, no solution, and infinitely many solutions. And then, so far as the technical parts are concerned, so we have draw, uh, dragged some videos on the concern content. Of linear equations with three. The three is that distance right there. This is the representation and no, the subtract three. We go down three. One, two, three. This is for the graphical representation the of the linear equation. Right Actually, this course, uh, this workshop should be of uh, six days duration, sir. <laughs> so it is not of three days duration. You have compact all these things, so so we are so hurry to just. Um, I agree. Okay. It's a learning but process yeah. for us yeah. also. This is the first time we have. Thank you. Also. I want so, to add it's format. Yeah. I want to add that GeoGebra applets, which sir we discussed, that they have to be on YouTube. We have to play it from there. We have to play it from there. 
कोई एक ऐसा ऑप्शन बनाइए आप इसमें कि हम जो जियो जैबर एपलेट्स हैं वो यहीं पर प्ले हो पाए हमारे दिस विल बी नोटेड करेंटली वॉट इज हैपन्ड इज ई डी एक्स एज ए लिंक अप आई सपोज विद गूगल एंड हेंस बिकॉज यूट्यूब इज नाउ डायरेक्टली लिंक विद गूगल वॉट एवर इज देयर वीडियोज दे हैव नॉट क्रिएटेड एनी लोकल वीडियो हैंडलिंग कैपेबिलिटी तो दे से वॉट एवर यू डू पुट इट ऑन यूट्यूब वी हैव एक्सलेंट लिंक्स विथ यूट्यूब सो दैट वे दैट इज द वे दे हैव सिंप्लीफाइड देयर थिंग ओके नाउ इफ प्रेशर बिल्ड्स अप फॉर दिस यू नो द सिस्टम हियर विल हैव टू बी प्रोग्राम टू टेक दैट otherwise currently edx has straight jacketed everything they say you do whatever finally it has to go to youtube if you can't upload something on youtube it can't get into an edx course it's that simple as that so anyway we have started off work swayam currently is a clone of edx with minor modification and as the modifications become major and major it will totally divert from the edx structure in our own way so if बहुत लोगों का फरमाइश है तो हो सकता है सर वन रिक्वेस्ट आई द टीम वुड लाइक टू हैव जस्ट ऑब्जर्व द फीडबैक फ्रॉम द एक्सपर्ट टीम सिंस वी हैव लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स इन अपलोडिंग थिंग्स एंड सो सो आई वुड लाइक टू हैव कमेंट फ्रॉम सबको इकट्ठा देख एक्सपर्ट ओके थैंक यू सर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन आई लाइक टू शेयर टू व्यूज ये morning we had a motivation from sir that okay aap in the lab ask as many questions pura matlab ragar ke karo and by the bliss of almighty and technology we are the team who is having three courses here on this platform one one a dono or one 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 <laughs> half nelson <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, from the sharing of uh, sir yesterday about his uh, de development of his mooc we uh, during the preparation of our course divided us as five into two segments so one was uh, working on the as a backup team and secondly two of us were, were uploading the things and uh, similarly during the running of the course uh, yogesh was taking care of the discussion forum and the others were participating in that so this is the intro page of our course here the our motive was to look into the different avenues supported in this platform and uh, we tried to go beyond that especially i would like to show this particular intro video sir this intro video was uh, shot with a mobile camera from our personal youtube account we uploaded in the youtube and the we added the link here why not in the studio <laughs> because the studio uh, actually we went to studio but uh, i must say that the briefing process is not very effective i'm sorry to say because we weren't briefed that okay in the studio we will be having actual recording session we said okay chalo let's go to studio have a visit over there guided to sort of thing the shoot out there in the studio we felt that okay it's not good like to to what we can present the topic yes so that's why we just tried something different out of the box and it worked nicely we are happy for that and uh, in the course where again our motive is uh, was not about enhancing the quality we just tried to see okay what are the scopes where we can work in different fields so we have tried to access as many different uh, modules and everything are there in the platform so this is one one underscore a laws of motion our topic was laws of motion uh, like other groups we haven't divided our course into several weeks we just try to put like topic wise the real work which we are visible here is done only in one hour today so we have only taken three topics sub topics with the section is the laws of motion and uh, under that laws of motion we have taken three sub sections like first one is 1.1 rest and motion so in this sub section 1.1 on rest and motion we tried to put three units firstly one was text html unit uh, html where uh, text was there some text and along with uh, that our photo was there 
then on basis of that we added the uh, quiz type thing so here just to find out okay one sort of one type of question then under that so on this 1.1 we had a discussion forum where uh, some of the co participants they participated in other sub unit yeah here we used one youtube video so let's play for the sir and still our legs will stay the issue is again the foreign accent yeah on the basis of that uh, video we had a discussion forum again question and all so this was the whole a glimpse of the structure we tried to explore so we are the last team to publish our course so still and we are we have two participants on the discussion forum so thanks all and especially i'd like to thank uh, ma'ams and the support staff without their help and guidance we couldn't do anything thank you all i hope you have enjoyed your <laughs> course making at least that's the impression which i get the way you presented your work and uh, i'll ask you one question have you overcome your phobia of course creation okay i th i think that that is one tick success for us because uh, you know even if you goof up the whole thing the minimal thing we wanted to achieve was that participants here should overcome their phobia of creating a course okay ah uh, that it, it will take time after some time see you will have to uh, use some tricks for example one trick which uh, some people use is camera is inanimate so what you do is just below the camera or next to the camera you make two of your colleagues or students sit down but then what happens is yesterday's your own videos you would have seen there are people who are scared to look at the camera So what do you do they will either look there then you will look there yes, or yes, always look here that shouldn't happen you know at least the two students are there squint at them but look at the camera that is what you have to do well no detail was there sir <laughs> yes but at least there was a the fact that there was a goof up by you in the first take and hence a retake was necessary that's a success that you have realized that something didn't go right in the first place okay You want to say something? मई जून में हम लोग फ्री रहते हैं हाँ उस समय चार पाँच दिन का वो सेशन चल जाए इस तरह का तो थोड़ा वन वीक का हो जाए हाँ तो थोड़ा ज़्यादा सीख जाएंगे okay. अभी मैं समझता हूँ कुछ सीख नहीं पाई भी तो कुछ अभी धन्यवाद आई होप प्रोफेसर शर्मा मेक सम अनाउंसमेंट इन द एंड आई एम गिविंग इम ए फिफ्टीन मिनट स्लॉट यस is that okay uh, can you show us the people back at our place mm. can you show us okay what have you done mm. so even in this platform is it at all possible for us to show them at our colleagues and all can they uh, you can log in from anywhere okay okay uh, yes oh so that's you can great. log in from anywhere you can keep on modifying this from anywhere wow that's great okay thank you and thank what you. i suggest is uh, uh, look up spoken tutorials in google yes professor kannan modgali is the champion of that and you can even create units of this in the format of a spoken tutorial the spoken tutorial format is special in the sense it's about 8 to 12 minutes of video no face is ever seen okay if at all face is seen that may be a photograph on the screen speaker's face is not seen what is shown there is essentially language independent and then the base may be in english a soundtrack is laid out then somebody translates it into marathi the marathi soundtrack is overlaid in place of the english soundtrack and there is no reason why a spoken tutorial format cannot be used as part of the videos here may not may not be each and every video but remember that the spoken tutorial format is created in such a way that if you simply have a pc or a laptop you can create a spoken tutorial all that you need is a you know a microphone which is connectable to that laptop okay or a pc nowadays many laptops have a built in microphone if the quality of that is good i think it should also be accepted 
लाइक बीइंग अ स्टूडेंट इफ आई वॉच दीज व्हाट वी हैव क्रिएटेड हियर तो मुझे लगता है कि बीइंग अ स्टूडेंट व्हाट आई फील इज कि अगर एक टीचर का मुझे फेस दिखता रहे थोड़ा थोड़ा बीच में तो शायद कंफर्ट जोन ज्यादा आ जाएगा आई एग्री विद यू परफेक्टली बट व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज यू आर कंटेंट क्रिएशन टू बिगिन विद कैन बी इन द स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल फॉर्मेट दैट वुड बी द रॉ एडिशन कि दिस इज द कंटेंट now when you really go to a studio you will use much of that plus we can overlay your face in a corner <laughs> or to begin with and <laughs> end with the whole of you can be ek wo jo bachcha class mein nahi gaya use wo ek teacher ki bhi feel aa jaye ki ha mujhe ek teacher hi padha raha hai definitely to wo ek feel aa sakti hai i just gave illustration <laughs> option yeah. and that But is the uh, simplest option for you to start creating even without a camera that's what i'm thinking and honestly i'm speaking like uh, when i was here like on 15th of uh, october i was not aware of what mooc is really aur jo uska explain uh, uh, full, full form, form jo likha nahi tha full form jo likha tha wo pata tha jab aap logo ne baat shuru ki mooc to i said co what mooc then i correlated it i took half a minute to correlate oh that's mooc but today like uh, really happy to be bonded with this program एंड स्वयं वॉट आई थाट इज स्वयं इज स्वयं हिंदी का स्वयं खुद पढ़ना है तो वो उसका भी फुल फॉर्म अभी मैंने जाना है एंड रियली उसका फुल फॉर्म है क्या ये मुझे कल बताया है अभी अभी कल हमें पता चला है कि इसका फुल फॉर्म है अदरवाइज आई थॉट इट इज स्वयं खुद पढ़ना है For young aspiring minds, so it's really good कि उसका पूरा English में हमने पूरा मतलब भी निकाल दिया और वो हिंदी से भी एकदम से correlate हो रहा है और बाकी it's really very uh, thankful to the your team, especially these uh, girls and boys जो रात तक हमारे साथ रहे यहाँ पर हमें समझाते रहे करते रहे बाकी हम एक बार जब खुद कर लेंगे एक बार अभी हमने as a team work किया है और hands on experiment जब खुद जब हम एक बार करेंगे तो we'll feel more comfortable. and thank you so much thank you so thank you